Hello and welcome back to my channel Infoverse Tech. This is the channel where we explore new trends in technology including artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer programming like Python, Julia and cloud computing. Today we are going to look at how we can send logs from a Linux virtual machine which is running on-prem. In my case it's running on, a, on my laptop into a log analytics workspace in Azure. Earlier I showed you how you could uh, use a Windows machine to send logs into uh, Azure Log Analytics workspace and I'm going to add the link to that tutorial uh, here as well. So let's get started. Let, let's first uh, take a look at what is a Log Analytics workspace. So I'm in the uh, Microsoft Documents uh, website and I just read out the uh, definition. So a log analytics workspace is a unique environment for Azure monitor log data. Each workspace has its own data repository and configuration and data resources, sources and solutions are configured to store their data in a particular workspace. You require a log analytics workspace if you intend on collecting data from the following sources. Azure resources in your subscription, on-premises computers monitored by a system center operations manager or in our case it's a Linux machine on-prem device collections from configuration manager diagnostics or log data from Azure storage so we'll be seeing how you can send logs from a Linux machine running on-prem into a log analytics workspace so let's get started here I can show you where I'm logged in to my Azure portal and Let's take a look at, um, first I'll just quickly show you how you can create um, a log analytics workspace and it's fairly easy. So you just click here, uh, you go into create and it'll show you some information. So as an example, I am using my resource group called 304 test and here I need to provide uh, a unique name. So. Uh, let me suggest something so okay so let's see if that is acceptable so that's unique enough and I'm in the Canada region so I can choose Canada Central and all I need to do is just review and hit create and it'll create and it takes a few seconds and it gets created so just in preparation for this tutorial I've already created uh, a log analytics workspace and let's take a look at that so this one the one that I'm clicking as you can see here I already have a Windows machine connected from the previous tutorial and for this one let's go to that let's start from here so log analytics workspaces and you can see I have two uh, this one I created for this tutorial which is called ingesting Linux VM logs so let's head out there and I'll give you a quick um, background on how my setup is. It's very simple. I have a virtual box running and on top of that I have a Linux VM installed. Uh, what I've done is for ease of use, although I have this interface as well, uh, for ease of use what I'm doing is that I have a SSH party session open into the virtual machine so it just makes it easier so let's go back to the log analytics workspace that we set up for this tutorial it's called ingesting Linux VM logs as you saw earlier it just needs to be uh, a unique name and uh, then you can set it up it's fairly easy to set up um, over here you go to the agents management area you can see I don't have anything connected right now let's check the Linux nothing connected here as well now for uh, Linux you need to either download the Linux agent or what you can do is you can run this script you can copy it from here and if you notice this script contains the workspace ID and the primary key already inside in, inside this uh, script so all uh, you need to do is just take this script and run it in Linux so let's see how we can do that so like I said I'm already connected let me show you what I have so uh, I just created a file and uploaded it here uh, let's take a 
peek into this file. So let me do a cat. And you can see that I have the full command, which is gets uh, the agent and install it. And it, this is the agent provided by Microsoft OMS agent for Linux. It's a cross platform. It, you also get a similar agent for Microsoft, which is in my earlier uh, video. And I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll put a link to that video. So this, this is all contained. We just need to run it and it should start sending logs into the workspace. Now the workspace ID is um, identified here and the primary key, like I said. So let's take a quick look. So you can see it's ending in 2588. And if I go here, you can see that this, this is the same uh, workspace ID we're talking about. So this really makes it very simple. Uh, you just um, copy this and run it in Linux. So let me do that. And it should take a few, uh, maybe a couple of minutes to completely run. And uh, let's see. So uh, wget gets that uh, agent and it starts the process of installing it. I just need to provide my because this is requiring admin access. So it should install successfully. And um, it, it's very straightforward. It should start sending logs into the Azure Log Analytics workspace. So let's give it a few seconds and it should complete the installation. And while it's um, going on, like I said, it's a very simple uh, setup that I have and you can easily replicate it. Uh, install virtual Oracle VirtualBox, which is uh, free and open source. And on top of that, you can install a Ubuntu virtual machine. Like in, I can quickly show you my setup here. So if you go here in VirtualBox, you can see I have Ubuntu Linux running. And that is the one that I'm put it into. Okay, so that ran. Let's, uh, before we do any troubleshooting, there is this troubleshooting command as well. Before we do that, let's see if um, it was able to pick it up. So you might need to like refresh it. So let's see. Sometimes it takes a little while before it starts receiving uh, the, those logs into the workspace so let me maybe rerun the like I was talking about this um, troubleshooter so let's run that okay so what you can do is you can do the A capital A which runs through all the scenarios and make sure that the agent installed and everything's running so let's do silent mode let it do its things and let's see it seemed to be some error message but should not be but let's see um, Okay, so while uh, that might take a little while to start sending logs, what I can do is I can go to the one that I set up earlier. Like I said, this one, test um, log analytics 2. And if I go to the agents management, you can see I have one Windows machine connected and I also have a Linux machine connected. So let's check out. Um, this is how, so uh, if you just go back for a second, uh, this is how it will show up in your, once the uh, Linux machine agent is sending logs. When you click on the Linux servers, it should say one Linux computer connected. And then you can go to the logs and you can check out um, what's running here. So if I run this, you can see it's showing a time generated source, computer ID, etc. Let me make it a little simpler so let's see what we can simplify here and if you just want to run heartbeat you will see that 
because they're sharing the same uh, analytics workspace you have a bunch of windows which are running from previously and you have some Linux as the agent is sending those logs so it, it's a mix if you wanted to separate them what you can do is you can write a command to say heartbeat um, where OS type and it will prompt you OS type equals we're looking for Linux so when I run this small command you can see that all the um, logs that it picked up or passed are all Linux and you know as we saw in the earlier uh, tutorial we can further uh, simplify it or just want to focus on some of the columns that we are interested in so let's see um, let's say we can look at the OS type we have the OS name maybe we can do that uh, computer environment uh, maybe the type of data that we're looking at and so on so let's see if this runs successfully let's run that okay so it tells me that it's uh, Ubuntu it's non Azure which is correct because this is running on-prem and the uh, log type we're looking at is heartbeat right so fairly easy to set up like I said all you need to do is run that wget script it will download the agent and install it and you're up and running and it should show up as um, a Linux machine connected a Windows machine connected uh, or you know I just have these two connected uh, if you have more servers connected they'll be populated here so while we were looking at the other log analytics workspace that I had set up earlier the new one also got set up and the agent that we installed uh, is working now so let's go here log analytics workspace select the ingesting Linux VM logs and go to the agents management so you can see zero windows which is ex as expected and if you click on Linux so now it's showing up so like I said uh, we, although we, I did a few times uh, I refreshed a few times but it still uh, didn't uh, pick it up so give it some time um, before the agent is installed and it starts collecting uh, logs and sending them into the uh, log analytics workspace so if I go here and run this command you can see that uh, I have some and let's see because this is just a new one it should not have many entries but let's see and we can certainly compare them so you can see I just have seven How, however if I go into the previous one uh, there should be more the the one that which includes both the Windows and Linux server so if I just go here and I run a very simple command to say heartbeat count and you can see that this is a much larger number because it's been running for a longer time and two computers are ac actually sending their data into this um, workspace so if you go back to the other workspace that is just newly set up for the Linux tutorial and look at the agents management and the Linux logs and just run that again you'll see that it's still you know just one more log that's come in within the last one minute and the other thing that we will notice that if we try to run it for uh, Windows the way the OS type is Windows so let me just write that where OS type equals Windows I don't think we should see anything because there is no data coming from Windows however if I run the same for Linux this contains all, Linux, uh, all logs from Linux because that's the only machine that's connected here 
and I showed you how you can verify that by going into the agents management and um, checking that now if I run this on the other analytics workspace you'll notice that we have both Linux and Windows in on, on those logs so let's take a quick look uh, I'm just taking a little more time to explain how this works so that it's it's very clear uh, when you try and repeat this so let's we can go to because it's the same logs let's let's run that query here I just want to take this out and run my own query so let's see and let's do count okay so it's reading so we got got 18 from the new one from the older one and if I change this to Windows I should see a larger number because Windows been running for maybe a day more so you can see uh, 161 so great thank you for um, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial um, but the idea was to show you how you can send logs from Windows and Linux into Azure log analytics workspace don't forget to subscribe so you you're always um, you, you can always uh, uh, visit the site and see new video videos posted thank you for watching